I've come to explore one of the most exciting places to get up close and personal with wildlife, the sea. The waters of Hampshire, the Isle of Wight and Sussex are full of life. You only have to look amongst the rock pools at low tide to find some really interesting creatures. Oh, what have you got here? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, this is a shore crab. Now, this is one of the most common creatures that you'll find on the seashore. And you can tell the difference between a male and a female. And you'll see that it's got a really pointy triangle if it's a male and a very rounded bit underneath if it's a female. But this little guy is just one type of crab that you'll find on the coast. To see more, I need to delve deeper into their world. And the best way to do this is with diving equipment. Well, I'm ready to go now. So let's see if we can find any more crabs and other creatures that live in the deeper waters. Did you know there are thousands of different animals and plants living in the sea and some of the creatures are unlike anything you would see on land? What's this? It isn't a bit of seaweed moving, it's actually a spider crab that's decorated itself with bits of seaweed for camouflage. What a brilliant disguise! There are lots of different types of crabs in the sea, you just have to know where to look for them. This snake locks anemone has a small crab hiding inside. The anemone's stinging tentacles give the crab protection from any predators that might be passing by, so it makes a great home. And it's not just crabs that are good at hiding from predators. This Tompot Blenny lives in a rocky reef where there are many nooks and crannies to dart into if danger approaches. But this sea slug doesn't need to hide. Its bright colours tell potential predators that it's poisonous. It goes about its day looking for food to eat on the seabed, including soft corals, sea squirts and anemones. There are lots of colourful fish in our seas. These are all types of wrasse and it's the males who are the most colourful, especially when they're looking for a female in the breeding season. And it's not just their colour they use to try to impress. The male corkwing wrasse gathers pieces of seaweed which he makes into a nest. He does this so the lucky female can lay her eggs. Now all of these crabs and fish we've seen had better watch out as they're a favourite food for seals. On land, these mammals may look a little ungainly, but underwater they are quick and agile swimmers diving down into the depths to find a meal. If you're a small fish in the big sea, it's wise to try to avoid seals and another creature who's on the prowl. The cat shark. Cat sharks are small sharks with keen senses which scour the seabed searching for prey. This thornback ray also likes to hunt, flapping its wing-like fins to glide over the seabed. And it's from cat sharks and rays that you get these. It's called a mermaid's purse. Now you won't find any money inside as they're in fact the egg cases of sharks. But you may be lucky by finding an empty one washed up on the beach. Another creature which is at the top of the food chain is the cuttlefish. By changing its appearance to match the surroundings, it can creep up on its prey unnoticed. It can also hide itself under the sand on the seabed. Incredible! 
Young cuttlefish hatch from egg sacs, which the adults leave attached to plants growing in the sea, and seagrass is a firm favourite. The plants provide seahorses with an anchor point to hold onto with their tail, and with all those leaves to hide in, it means that hungry fish searching for food, such as these bass, are less likely to find them. This is just a glimpse into some of the incredible sea life that's found close to where you live. You can find out more about our marine life by contacting your local wildlife trust. Look, here she comes. What did you see? They wouldn't believe me if I told them. Thank you.